What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Sizzle or Fizzle. I'm Rick. And I'm your boy, Cass. This is the show where we listen to different artists, different genres, any type of song. We especially love new stuff that we haven't heard before. And mm-hmm. we put our heads together. We determine whether we like it, we don't, i.e., does the track sizzle or does it fizzle? Oh, fizzle. Bang. Kaz, have you ever heard of Teddy Swims? Nope. Well, that makes two of us. Oh. Um, This one was a request from our good friend, Big, Big Show. Show. And uh, Big Show. I believe he's, he's, Show. he's, got, Baby, he's given us another request before. And uh, we kind of dug that. So we're going to give this one a try, too. See if show can go two for two. All right. The name of the track is uh, Lose Control. And again, it's Teddy Swims. Here we go.
tell you, um, this song, I listened to it before mm -hmm. the show. <clears throat> this hit home. Mm -hmm. Um, the meaning behind it and everything, man. Damn. Mm -hmm. This hit home. Um, first of all, definitely you can't judge a book by its cover because that brother's tattooed up from head to toe and you wouldn't expect something like uh, that kind of soul coming out of a, coming out of a brother like that. When he opened his mouth, all I heard was a cross between Otis Redding and Sam Cooke. His parents uh, listened to a lot of old R&B and soul music growing up. And he was actually he was actually a football player uh, in high school. <clears throat> I don't remember uh, all the story, of course. I just remember this part for some reason. It kind of mimics me a little bit. I stopped football my sophomore year to go head deep into music my junior year. And that's what he did. He was playing football. And him and a few other guys were approached by a music teacher and told them to try choir and a musical or something. And they fell in love with it. And here he is now. This song, this one hurts. This one hits and hurts. Um, this one would be on my sip and uh, sip and sip uh, playlist. Definitely would be sitting back drinking on this song uh, for sure. And uh, straight up sizzle. Thanks, yo. This is this this was perfect. This son of a bitch is gonna go on. Uh, this will be on repeat. Wow. I don't hey. know what else to say without getting too deep and personal. This one hits. It's home. Yeah, wow. When I when I said from the opening notes that it was a cross between Otis Redding and Sam Cook, you don't put those names out unless that person that you're comparing to can sing. And what's that we always used to say? Not only can he sing, he can sing. He can sing. Yeah, and, and that boy sang his butt off on this song. Oh, and it's got this sweet, raspy voice. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm. Man, this, this right here, damn good track. Damn good track. Mm. So yeah, show. If you're out there, you listening? You two for two, brother. You two for two, like that. Um, definitely want to uh, hear more from this brother in the future. And uh, if this song is any indication, he's got a bright future in the music biz. I I mentioned Redding and Cook. Who does he remind y'all of? And how do y'all feel about this song? You know, leave us a comment. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. That way you don't miss any episodes like this. And uh, drop that comment. Let us know what you think about this song. Who does he r remind you of? And uh, what else can we get on for y'all? Because this is a great example of a request that went rather well. So we look forward to more. Hey. All right. Wow. We're getting ready to get on up out of here. So until we see you again, stay positive and stay blessed. Honey, a drink. Y'all keep it moving. <laughs> Later. <laughs>